they ready? And uh, where they go. Very nice start for them. Alado's Pride is the early leader. Magical Midlands is right there. Every cloud is between runners. And so too is Light Without who goes off to show the way and Catch the Tune is not far off the leading line. There's only two lengths separating the first five. Central City behind the leading bunch. Then came Spin Doctor in behind that Magnum. Fires about eight or nine lengths off them. Dame of Flames, no place like home. And King of Seville, the trailer. They're going a good gallop here. And there's got to be about 12 lengths from first to last. 1,400 metres out and light without. Goes clear a couple of lengths from Magical Midlands in second. Alado's Pride third. Then came the grey every cloud. And the outside of that is Catch the Tune. Further back then to Spin Doctors. Midfield is seven lengths off the leader. Behind that is Central City up along the inside of Dame of Flames. Magnum Fire's got about ten lengths to make up. Another four lengths back to King of Seville. And no place like home has got 12, 14 lengths to make up. Reaching the last 900 metres, out in front is Light Without, cleared away a length and a half from Magical Midlands, Alado's Pride is down there inside. Then catch the tune with every cloud, three, four lengths to make up, Spin Doctors just behind them with Central City. Further back down the inside came Magnum Fire, no place like home is further back in the field, and then came King of Seville. Well down the straight they come with 500 metres left to go. Every cloud towards the outside. Spin Doctors produced strongly. Catch the tune D behind that Dame of Flames running on. And then came No Place Like Home. 300 metres left to go. Spin Doctor. Every cloud down the inside. Then came Dame of Flames. No Place Like Home. Spin Doctor coming down to the 200. Dame of Flames on the outside is running a cracker. But it's Spin Doctor from Dame of Flames. These two set to do battle. Dame of Flames. Spin Doctor is fighting back on the rail. It's Spin Doctor. Dame of Flames. Here it comes. Dame of Flames. A short head maybe from Spin Doctor. Three four lengths away to every cloud. No place like home. Central City and Magnum Fire. And trailed off with King of Seville here. Well, 300 metres left to go. We'll wait for the judge next door to give us the official number. Spin Doctor looked almost certain for victory here when it passed the grey stable companion, Every Cloud. But here comes Dame of Flames under Kelvin Habib to maybe snare Spin Doctor right on the line. We'll wait for the judge to come up with a result, but it's close between these two. However, I gave it to Dame of Flames, a short head from Spin Doctor. Every Cloud third. Welcome back. The lucky last this afternoon. Gavin Smith goes bang bang the last couple of races and well done to the stable from Gavin Smith Racing. The winner is Dame of Flames and with me is Sadiq. He's collecting for Younger. Well done to Younger. 1,500 rands. Thanks so much to Will Sports Betting for all those checks this afternoon and every meeting. It really is appreciated and it's a user-friendly betting fixed odds website. WSB. Thanks so much. Thank you. Here we go, Calvin's back. I told you this guy likes Port Elizabeth. He's back in the winner's box, and why not? He's riding for a stable like the Smith Stable this afternoon and getting into the winners. And we spoke about Terry Anu earlier being gutsy and brave. Very similar, yeah, with Dame of Flames, digging deep to win. Well done. Thank you so much, yeah, 100%. Um, intentions were to go forward. Uh, a couple of guys pressed forward, and I thought the pace was decent. I thought it was a 62. Rather than me give it a bit of a chance, and um, <clears throat> pulled out about the 600. Just a large stop building. She's a big galloper and um, yeah as you say she was game all the way to the line she kept on uh, picking back the margin and she, it came at the right time when we when I got her head down the lovely win from this filly did you think she won yes I did she, had, did. she had the momentum and uh, I sort of timed it for the the winning post for her to put her head down and um, I just thought it was a massive effort with the the big way taking on open company it wasn't easy but thank you so much to Mr Smith he knows what he's doing and um to Dean, to the whole team, really appreciate all the support and well done to the owner. Thank you so much. Calvin, are we going to see you back on Tuesday? Uh, not on Tuesday, but... Uh, next week Friday. Next, uh, yeah, the next week Friday. All right. All right. Tremendous. Thank, thank you. you so much. And then just uh, last but not least to my sponsors, Court. Thank you so much. All right. There we go. Calvin Habib. Great racing family, the Habib family, the guys out there in the south of Joburg as well, the supporters. He's got a big fan club back in Joburg and I'm not surprised. Gavin, well done to you. End up the day on a, on a good note as well and lots of courage and determination here. And just having a quick look, uh, six wins now, bred out at Drakenstein Stud, so there's nothing wrong with that when it comes to breeding one day. She's a lovely, clean, sound filly, Neil, good size to her. 
good clean action, and this was actually a win full of merit. Um, she didn't show this at home that she could run like this. I thought quartet chance, and uh, I mean catch a tune drops off at home, yes. but he totally overraced the first 400 meters. He was pulling hard, and, you know, his last start he came from off the pace, and just did too much too early with a long straight. And but I'm just thrilled for this filly. He was 62 kilos to win a race like this. She showed guts and resilience all the way to the line. And I've got to just say sorry to my friend Lorette Lowe upstairs and, and yes. Gavin Tara. Sure. It's not nice to go down like that. I mean, it was nose, nose, you know, and yeah. uh, stiff that they ran second and to chase as well. But yeah, a gutsy win by this filly and we'll take it with both hands and very well done to Rowan. Well, it does recharge the batteries for the new season and sets the everything, a good day to start with for the season. Thanks very much, Neil. Appreciate yeah. the kind words and yeah, thanks to my sponsors, Hollywood. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you, Ben. Here we go, Gavin Smith and his son Dean and the entire team out there. And these are sportsmen. They know when to give credit to others' tables as well. And they look you in the eye, shake your hand. And that's awesome. And I respect that all the way to the line as well. So well done to all the connections of Dame and Flames, of Dame of Flames this afternoon. Nadine was with me. She was in the naughty chair this afternoon. And uh, things were going according to plan. We had a great day's racing. We're looking forward to being back on Tuesday on the poly. And uh, from Nadine, from Pauline Herman, the photographer, myself, all the crew as well. And I believe Merlin was the guy downstairs today directing for the first time. So up and coming there and learning from Liesl. Much appreciated to everybody on course that did all the hard work. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on Tuesday.